Newton method for localization. I have a robot, the position of which is unknown, and the robot is able to measure some distances to four landmarks, the coordinates of which, of which are given here. The four distances are represented by here, I will call it uh, Y1, Y2, and the last one is Y4. Okay, this one is Y3. And I have to express the vector f of p, which generates these distances. I will have f of p, which will be a four-dimensional vector. And here I will have, for the first one, the square root of p1 minus m1, the first one, plus this one square, plus p2 minus m2 of 1 square. I will do the same for the second one, y2, the third one, and the last one. So for the last one, of course, I will have m1 4, okay, and here instead of m2 of 1, I will have m2 of 4, of course. This one corresponds to f of p. Now what I have to do is to compute f of p for p equal 2 minus 3. So for this, I will propose the following Python program. This one computes f of p, which corresponds to a vector with four coordinate functions, fe. phi is given here and corresponds, as previously said, the square root of pi1 minus m1 of i square plus p2 minus m2 of i square. Okay. For this, in this program, I first build a matrix with the four landmarks, so the x coordinates and the y coordinates, and I have four landmarks. Then I will pu I will compute here. Uh, I will uh, plot the landmarks here uh, O to draw a small circle, and here it means that I will draw them in red. I take P1, P2 as given in the exercise. I will draw at this location a small robot. I will compute by F the output vector, uh, with, and then I will print it. This is my Python program. I run it, and I have here a picture with the four landmarks and the robot at the position uh, 2 minus 3. Okay. This one corresponds to the vector of the four measurements. Now, to simulate some noise, I will just uh, take the smallest in the integer, the nearest integer uh, corresponding to these distances. Question number two. I assume that uh, the measurements I made are, are 4, 5, 5, 8, but now I don't remember anymore how this uh, data have been uh, generated. So I don't know at all the position of my robot. It means that I'm not allowed to take the value 2 minus 3 in my computation. So for this I will use a least square approach and I will try to minimize f of p minus y, the norm square. For this uh, and to interpret uh, uh, the uh, how g of p looks like, I will draw the level curves for it. So for this I will consider the following Python program with first 
uh, I make a function computing g of p. So it is this function. I have p1 and p2, and I have a counter which computes the error for the ith component given by this. Then I will sum them, and of course I have to square the error. So this corresponds to that. For this, I will have to include in my program the vector y corresponding to my measurements given by 4, 5, 5, 8 as given in the exercise. And to draw the level curve, I will use a mesh grid approach, so I will generate a grid for x and for y. This one corresponds to p1 and this one will correspond to p2. And this this is a step I consider, and I will generate my two grids, P1 and P2. For this grid, I will call my function G, I have just programmed here, and I will make the grid for F, and I will use the contour for this. So this is my program, I run it, and if I do this, I obtain this level curve. which are given here. So I can see in red my landmarks, so here it is uh, m of 1 up to m of 4, here m of 2 and m of 3. Then here I have two local minimum, this one and this one, but this one is a global, uh, correspond to the global minimizer. So this one is a local minimum, and this one is a global uh, minimum. Question number three. Using a Newton minimization method, I have to provide a least square estimation for the position of my robot P, and the initial point is chosen as P0 equal to 4, 3. I recall uh, the Newton method. Uh, it consists of a loop, and uh, uh, for this, I will have to compute the Jacobian of f, where f is given by uh, this relation with the square root, and the Jacobian is given by this. And this Jacobian, we have of course a part of the expression of the coordinate function of f. So the square root here is the same as this one. Okay. Uh, so the Newton method uses the Jacobian, but also an evaluation of f itself. It is given by uh, the Jacobian is given by this expression, and the Newton method corresponds to uh, this this loop. So I will uh, perform it uh, ten times, for instance, and I assume that ten times is enough to reach the fixed point. So this is my Python program. I will run it. And I can see here the point is my initialization p of 1, p of 2, p of 3, and very quickly I converge to the global minimum. But of course, if I consider another one, another point as an initialization point, I may converge to the local minimum, 